Status doesn't make any woman a high-value woman. It is the value she provides and how she treats little people that makes her a high-value woman. You must not be rich or have a high-paying job to be a high-value woman. High-value women are women of substance and caliber. They are different in style and taste from other women. They are the perfect example of what the modern woman looks like. The good news is everyone can become a high-value woman with a little determination. Any woman can develop the magnetic traits of high-value women that makes them attract and influence people easily. The irresistible charisma of high-value women comes from their ability to compound atomic habits into an impeccable personality. Here are the core traits of high-value women that separates them from low-value women. 1. High self-esteem. High self-esteem is not the ability to brag nor the ability to hype yourself on social media with fake pictures of you posing on people's cars or with random celebrities on the streets. High self-esteem is the ability to believe in yourself and your abilities more than anyone does. High-value women stand out among low-value women because of the confidence they have in their abilities. The reason they have so much influence on people is because of the confidence they radiate. What confidence does is tell people that this woman they are looking at knows what she is doing. She is the right woman for the job. She is calm and poised like a professional. If you can get people to say these things about you, then you are killing it like a high-value woman. 2. Self-discipline. Hey, self-discipline is not the ability to deny yourself a few candies today and then devour packets days later. Self-discipline is the backbone of what makes high-value women what they are. It is the ability to compel yourself to do what you are supposed to do even when you don't feel like doing it. Are you self-disciplined or someone who has to be instructed or reminded to do something good for themselves? If you cannot hold yourself to follow simple instructions, it will be impossible for you to reach the ranks of high-value women because they don't longer follow instructions but set goals for themselves and follow them through without assistance. Of all the habits one can form to reinvent themselves, self-discipline is the hardest but possible. All you need to do to be a disciplined woman is to start with baby steps. It takes time, but with consistency you will eventually get there. When people start talking behind your back that you are not easily distracted from your goals, that you are true to your words and you hate undisciplined people, that, my friend, is when you have achieved self-discipline. 3. Determination. Called it determination or willpower it means the same thing, the ability to control your thoughts and the way in which you behave. How do you behave around people? Are you a gossip, a liar or the type that seeks for notice everywhere you go? Can you say you are a determined woman who is ready and willing to follow through with every inch of her plan to achieve her goals? A woman that is bent on giving her very best to make a difference. A woman who will never settle for less until she sees the light at the end of the tunnel. If you are that woman then you are a high value woman. Thanks for watching this far. If you are not, this last atomic habit of the high value woman is for you. 4. Self-love. Any woman that has achieved any great thing or done something extraordinary like high-value women have her looks as the least of her worries. Today looks are stopping most women from pursuing their dreams. You can't survive a day in the real world kicking ass when you don't love yourself that much. High-value women have quirks and imperfections that they worry about because they know that what people look for in others is the goodness in them. Unless you show them something else, all the see is the good in you. Low-value women always rain chaos on themselves by granting strangers access into their lives. They complain a lot, see nothing good in themselves and cry more than the bereaved.